uh, today I'm going to discuss how uh, one of the ways that Bangladesh is uh, contributing to achieving the FTF uh, initiative uh, uh, goal of uh, sustainably reducing global poverty and hunger. Now, as I said yesterday, we are determined not only to increase agricultural productivity in order to increase the availability uh, of and access to uh, <coughs> uh, agricultural produce, we are also determined to increase the utilization and consumption of uh, these agricultural produce through such activities as uh, essential hygiene action, essential nutrition action, dietary diversity, social uh, behavioral change component, and so forth, such that at the end of the day, we are able to improve the, the nutrition status of the, Bangladeshi, of the Bangladeshi population. Now, in order to do this, we have facilitated the, about 14 projects, agriculture nutrition related projects, into what we call the FTF Agricultural Nutrition Linkages Group. These 14 projects consist of eight projects from the Office of Economic Growth, which are uh, Ag Value Chain, Agro Inputs Project, Aquaculture for Income and Nutrition, the Avian Influenza, CISA, Horticultural Project, Policy Research and Strategy Support Program, and USAID Extension Program. From the Office of Humanitarian Assistance, we have Nobojibon, uh, we have uh, Prosha, and then we have Shuhado. And from the Office of Health, we have IAHBI, we have Shika, and then we have Spring. Now, for the three projects from the Office of Health, the main beneficiaries are pregnant and lactating women, and women with uh, children of less than two years of age. And so the projects promote, uh, as I said earlier, essential hygiene and essential nutrition action. They promote uh, post postnatal and antenatal care, and they also promote dietary diversity and complementary feeding of babies that are six months old and beyond. In addition to that, they, uh, they provide uh, technical assistance for uh, improved, aqua, uh, improved horticultural practices, as well as assistance in backyard poultry farming, uh, in aquaculture, and in, uh, uh, in goat rearing. So a typical beneficiary of this project should have a, a homestead garden, in addition to uh, uh, a backyard poultry, or two goats, or, two, uh, or a pond, a fish pond. Now for the other uh, nine, for the other 11 projects, their household are beneficiaries, uh, the, the beneficiaries are household members with or without pregnant and lactating women. However, they do promote nutrition activities in all their projects, such as, such that, for instance, for CISA, which is involved in increased rice productivity, the beneficiaries are aware of dietary, diet, dietary diversity in order to know that 80% of their diet should not be just of rice. And then for the aquaculture project, the beneficiaries should be aware that the increase in productivity of their, of their, of their fish pond should be matched by increase in fish consumption. Now we all know that two plus two is four, but we believe that through collaboration and coordination between the 14 projects, we could maximize our limited resources to, uh, we could, to maximize our output. And as such, we are expecting from our 14 projects that when they bring in two plus two, we should get 10. Now, we are, we are looking at two ways of approaching this, of achieving uh, this um, uh, goal. The first, one, the first one is the nutrition pathway. I mean, we are looking at the nutrition pathways. We are looking at two of the nutrition pathways. The first one is uh, production for consumption. And then the second one is production for income so that the income can be used to produce food items that are not produced by the farmers. Now, after a series of discussions between the uh, 14 uh, uh, projects, they agreed on five areas of cooperation. Training and studies, communication, gender, co-targeting, and ICT information and communication technology. Now, it's not just enough to talk the talk. You know, we want to see results. It's not just, it's not just tell us that you are going to cooperate in this, in that, and in the other. We, it is essential that we are able to uh, measure the degree or the intensity of cooperation. 
and as such, we demanded uh, uh, indicators to be able to measure how well they are, how well, how well they are, uh, how well they are going to collaborate and coordinate. Now, for training and studies, they agreed on these following uh, indicators: numbers of people trained, or numbers of trainer of trainers trained. In other words, since all these projects are involved in aquaculture activities in horticultural activities and in nutrition activities, we do not expect them to bring in 14, uh, uh, 14 uh, uh, consultants, uh, long term or short term. For, aqua, for aquaculture training, we can expect them to, to ask the aquaculture project to provide the, the, the trainers. For the horticulture, we expect them to meet the horticulture project. And for nutrition, we expect them to meet either Spring or Shika or IHBI, such that, yes, such that uh, they save on time and labor. And, and to my understanding, uh, for this fiscal year alone, the aquaculture project has saved about 100,000 because they've asked the horticulture to provide them with trainers for the, uh, for the, aqua, for the horticulture project instead of bringing in, uh, instead of bringing in a, a, a short term or long term, or long -term uh, aquaculture experts. <coughs> and so far, I'm aware that 60 staff of aquaculture, ag, ag extension, and prosha have been trained on fertilizer, dis, on, on fertilizer dip placement by the RP project. And 300 staff of aquaculture project and 30, and 30 staff of horticulture project have been trained on nutrition by spring. Under communication, they've agreed on a number of joint communication activities and, and joint messages. Which means that, for instance, in uh, Joshua, one of, our, one of the districts in our field, the future uh, zone, rather than having 14 billboards, which cost about 50,000 Bangladeshi taka each for a year, five or six uh, projects can come together to, to, to provide messages. And as such, instead of paying 50,000 50, per billboard, if five of them join together, they'll have to pay 10,000 each. And, in, and we're also interested in the number of joint messages that they're going to put out in, uh, on those billboards. And so, so far, they've, uh, uh, the aquaculture project and the horticulture project have signed an MOU on, uh, on, on a farmer information centers. For gender, they've agreed on a common gender strategy, and they've also agreed on common activities and messages that would increase women empowerment, uh, that would increase women empowerment in the five domains that have, de that have been defined by the women uh, empowerment in agriculture, uh, in, in the agriculture index. For co-targeting, they've also identified unions. Uh, in Bangladesh, you have Division, uh, Upazila, Union, and Muzo. So they've, agreed, they've identified unions where they'll be working in, because most projects do not work in all the districts. And this is an, ex this is an example of where they are working, of where they uh, they'll be working. In this area, we have six of the, of the projects out of 14. And as you can see, the, the, uh, the red shows where one project is working, the, uh, the yellow shows where three projects are working. Now, regarding communication and uh, information technology, these are the areas they've agreed to work together. And I'm glad to say that under the GIS, because they, they've agreed to work together to have a joint GIS uh, map, mapping uh, setup, and I'm, I'm happy to say that we have set up such uh, a website. And this is, for now, this is just for the 14 projects, but we expect to uh, expand it to cover the whole mission. Here, each project has a unique uh, account. And when they log in, they, are, they can set up their folder and put in the information they want to share with every other person, with every other project. And when you click on, the, on, when you click on such a folder, you have information like this, and when you click on search on information, for instance here, for basic food, you have information that anybody could use, any of the project could use to train their trainers, who would then use that to train their beneficiaries. So, we've done all the discussions. Now, the, the plan of action we have for the remaining uh, fiscal year is to, to continue to facilitate the coordination and collaboration and to identify activities or technologies that could be scaled up, and also to, uh, that could be scaled up. Yeah. So thank you very much. To learn more about scaling and how you can contribute to this growing body of knowledge, 
please visit agrilinks.org scaling.